Although the 2020 F2 season was delayed as a result of the COVID-19 outbreak, the revised calendar managed to have the full race schedule. And what a season it has been with some amazing races and exciting young drivers. The season opened with a victory for Callum Eilat before Filipe Drogovic became the first rookie of the season to claim victory in the sprint race. The following weekend, Robert Schwartzman and Christian Lingard claimed their maiden victories in their rookie seasons, with Schwartzman claiming a second victory in Hungary. Mick Schumacher, however, had to wait until the future race at Monza to claim his first victory. Ultimately, it would be Schumacher who triumphed in the final battle, with a dramatic sprint race in Shakir, sealing the fortunes of Schumacher and Eilat. Elsewhere, Yuki Tsunoda claimed the Antoine Hobe Award for the best rookie of the season, finishing third in the championship, just a point behind second place Callum Milot, with 12 drivers claiming victory at some point during the 24 race campaign. In this video, we will look at the top 5 drivers who impressed the most in 2020. If we just focus on what he achieved on the racetrack, in his second F2 campaign, Mazepin finished fifth in the championship, having taken two victories, six podiums and two fastest laps. This year, Mazepin developed into a more mature racer from a disappointing 18th place in the 2019 championship. The Russian driver will step up to Formula 1 and make his debut with Haas next season. After signing a multi-year contract with the American team, Mazepin will become the fourth Russian to race in Formula 1 after Petrov, Sirotkin and Daniel Kvyat. It will be very exciting to see what Nikita can achieve in Formula 1. Schwarzman drove for Prima Racing in the 2020 championship, partnering Mick Schumacher. He took a podium finish on his debut at the Red Bull Ring, taking third place in the feature race. He then took his first Formula 2 victory at the feature race of the Styrian Grand Prix, dedicating the victory to his late father who died in April due to COVID-19. He finished the season with four victories, more than any driver this year. He also claimed six podiums, two pole positions and one fastest lap. Schwarzman was one of the favourites to win the championship this year, but dropped out of the championship lead following a string of inconsistent results. However, he has proved his potential as a fast racing driver. He couldn't secure an F1 seat for 2021, but will enter the 2021 F2 season as a top favourite to win the title. Driving for the UNI Virtuosi Racing Team in 2020, Eilat took his first F2 victory in the season opening race at the Red Bull Ring. Eilat ended the season with 3 wins, 5 pole positions, 7 podiums, finishing runner-up to fellow Ferrari Academy driver Mick Schumacher. Eilat led the championship for a while and gave tough fight to Schumacher in the championship, but lost points while running in decent positions due to technical issues or pit stop troubles in some critical races. He could not secure an F1 seat for the 2021 season, but will not race in F2 next year. Instead, he will take up the role of a test driver at Ferrari. Schumacher started the year slow and almost had to wait for 15 races for his first win of the season. But one thing that is most impressive was his consistency of scoring podiums and points. And that's what made him the champion. He finished the season with only two victories. But the 10 podiums he achieved has made the difference and pushed him ahead of his rivals to win the championship. Over the course of the 2020 season, Schumacher has molded himself to be a consistent performer with a calm approach even under pressure. Schumacher will drive for Haas F1 team in the 2021 season after signing a multi-year contract alongside Nikita Mazepin. His car number most likely is going to be 47. Mick will be the third member of the Schumacher family to race in Formula 1 after his father Michael and his uncle Ralph Schumacher. Yuki Tsunoda had a stellar debut in F2, finishing the season in third in the championship, just one point behind second-placed Callum Eilat and 15 points behind champion Mick Schumacher. He has been the most impressive drivers of the 2020 season, with three wins, seven podiums, four pole positions and three fastest laps. Like his new team principal said, Yuki has demonstrated the right mix of racing aggression and good technical understanding. He won the F2 Rookie of the Year award as the highest 
highest scoring driver in the first season. Following just one season in F3, Sonoda moved into F2 this year with Carlin Racing. Now, just after one season in F2, he gets a chance to drive in Formula 1 in 2021 and will be the first F1 driver to be born in the 21st century. Of course, he deserves his seat and has the full potential to score big points. As a Honda backed prodigy, he has been under Red Bull's radar for quite some time now and surely will be a great asset to the Alpha Tauri team. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and share for more interesting content on Formula 2.